Have you ever wondered how astronauts travel beyond Earth without being harmed by intense space radiation? A major challenge in space travel is navigating through the Van Allen radiation belts, two layers of charged particles trapped by Earth's magnetic field. But can astronauts safely pass through them? Space radiation is one of the most significant obstacles in the realm of space exploration. It consists of various types of particles, including protons, electrons, and cosmic rays, which can cause serious damage to both spacecraft and human bodies. The Van Allen Bills, in particular, present a unique challenge due to their intense radiation levels. The Van Allen Belts were discovered in 1958 by scientist James Van Allen using early satellite data. They contain high-energy electrons and protons posing a potential radiation hazard to spacecraft and astronauts. The belts extend from about 1,000 to 60,000 kilometers above Earth, with the inner belt containing the highest radiation levels. So how do astronauts survive passing through them? The answer lies in speed and shielding. The Apollo missions in the 1960s and 70s used precise trajectories to minimize exposure. By passing through the thinner edges of the belts and spending as little time as possible within them, typically less than an hour, radiation exposure was significantly reduced. Additionally, spacecraft like Apollo's command module were designed with protective shielding to absorb much of the radiation. According to NASA, the total radiation dose astronauts received while passing through was low enough to avoid harmful effects. The presence of the Van Allen belts has led to many conspiracy theories, claiming that the moon landings were impossible. But modern technology, as well as human missions to the moon and planned Mars missions, confirm that passing through the belts is challenging but entirely possible. What do you think about space travel and radiation exposure? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more space science content.